Good morning, everyone. A very warm welcome to the yoga session hosted by Santa Clara County Library. Uh, today's session, we will begin in a standing position. So let's all make our way up into a standing position. Let's start by keeping our legs to the distance of our hips. We're going to bring our hands with the palms facing up to the ceiling. As we take our hands up, our heels are going to peel off. So we're going to start with a balance today. Very slowly as you inhale, try to lift both your heels off the ground. Let's take the hands all the way up. Exhale, heels down. Press your palms facing down towards the ground. And let's keep our hands in T-arm position. So we're not bringing it next to the body. Switch your palms, palms facing up to the ceiling. Heels off the ground, inhale, take your hands all the way up. Try to balance on the balls of your feet. Breathe. Exhale, press your heels down, palms facing down towards the ground. Arms in T-arm position. Inhale, heels off the ground, hands go all the way up. Let's try to really lift it up. Try to press on the balls of the feet, connect with the arches of your legs. Exhale, let's bring our hands into T-arm, press your heels down. Start to squeeze your abdominal muscles, relax your neck muscles, come into chair. Inhale, heels off the ground, hands go all the way up. Exhale, heels down, hips go back into chair. Try to sit a little bit lower this time. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. And this time, simply rest your heels down. Exhale, release your hands. Let's touch the knuckles, lift the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades and press it down. Touch your knuckles, lift your elbows, Squeeze your shoulder blades and press it down. Let's bring our hands with the palms facing up to the ceiling. Withdraw, lift and give it away. Withdraw, lift and give it away and let it go. Shake it off a little bit. We're going to come into half forward bend by bending one knee at a time, progressively going into a full forward bend. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Keep your hands up, relax your neck muscles and your shoulder muscles. Let's bend our right knee, straighten the right, bend the left, and straighten the left. We'll do the same thing in half. Press your hips back. Let's come into half. Bend the knee, the right knee, straighten. Bend your left knee and straighten. Exhale, come into full forward bend. Bend your right, straighten. Bend your left and straighten. Bend your knees a lot, both your knees a lot. Press your belly into your thighs. Fly your hands to the side. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Interlock your hands, press the heel of the palm all the way up. I'm just going back so you can see me better. My hands are getting cut off. Widen your stand out. Gently, let's take the hands all the way towards the right side, opening up the side body on the right side, the left side. Come back to the center. Let's take our hands towards the left side, opening up the right side of the body. Gently, come back to the center. Release your hands. One more time, rotate. And reverse. And let it go. Shake it off a little bit. Once again, let's all come to the front of the mat. The whole feet is completely planted to the ground. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Palms facing forward. Exhale, press your hips back. Lead with your chin. Come into a forward bend. Let's step the right leg all the way to the back. Let's step the left leg all the way to the back and meet in a simple downward dog position. And gently start to pedal those legs off. Bending one knee at a time, pressing the opposite heel down to the ground. And switch. And switch. 
and switch and one more and this time when both your knees drop your knees down relax your toes set yourself up for a simple basic cat and cow position your arms are about shoulder width apart your knees are about hip width apart you have space between your legs your neck is in line with your spine it's a neutral position inhale look towards the ceiling and exhale down your back inhale look towards the ceiling and exhale down your back gently tuck your toes let's meet back in downward dog position and once again let's start to pedal those legs off bending one knee at a time pressing the opposite heel to the ground starting to slowly warm up the legs and the back of the legs connect with them and from here walk your legs a little further back and let's all meet in a plank position hold your plank you're going to bend one knee so just like how you did in downward dog you're going to do the same thing but in plank so you're going to bring bend your right knee meet in plank bend your left knee and meet in plank it's as simple as that ready let's go bend your right and back bend your left and back one more bend your right and back bend your left and back so you're in plank now drop both your knees down relax your toes walk your hands back towards your body back to pedal cow inhale look towards the ceiling and exhale down your back inhale look towards the ceiling and exhale down your back slowly walk your hands back towards your body you're going to come up onto a standing position on your knees we're going to tuck our toes at the back so you want to keep your toes curled and tucked in for stability and your legs can be slightly apart which means to say your thighs are not hugging each other but they're slightly apart let go of your right hand just the way it is next to your body let's all take our left hand all the way up very slowly take your left hand all the way towards the right side maybe your right fingertips touch the ground or maybe not inhale take both your hands all the way up exhale first let go of your left hand release loosen and when you feel ready gently take your right hand all the way towards the left side opening up the right side of the body inhale take both your hands all the way up this time we're going to take our right hand and press it place it on top of our right heel right so gently take your right hand and rest your right hand on top of your right heel and you're going to take your left hand diagonally today so sometimes we take it back straight sometimes we take it diagonally right so today let's take it diagonally take it all the way the left hand goes towards your right side so this is how it will look from the front you want to take it diagonally in front of you inhale take both your hands all the way up exhale take your left hand rest it on top of your left heel and take your right hand all the way over diagonally inhale take both your hands all the way up exhale circle your hands your toes are already tucked place your hands shoulder width apart release your knees off the ground let's meet in downward dog position make adjustment so that you are able to easily pedal those legs and slowly walk your hands back towards your body you will end up in a forward bend at the back of your mat inhale take your hands all the way up arch up your back 
Reach your fingertips up. Circle your hands. Bring your hands back to the heart center. Coming to the front of the mat. I'm going to go sideways here. The view will be better. Remember how we pedaled one leg at a time while we were in half forward bend, right? We're going to use that. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Exhale, press your hips back. Let's come into a half forward bend. Let's all bend only our right knee. Straighten. Let's all bend only our left knee. And straighten. Gently bend your right knee a lot. Take your right hand to the outside of your left leg. Take your left hand all the way up. And breathe. Gently come back to the center. Both knees lock. Half forward bend. Bend your left knee a lot. Take your left hand to the outside of your right leg. Right hand goes all the way up. Straighten both legs. Come into half. Adding on, bend your right leg a lot. Take your right hand to the outside of your left leg. Take your left hand behind your back. Look over your left shoulder. Breathe. Left hand goes up. Bring your hands into half. Both knees locked. Left knee bends. Left hand goes to the outside of your right. Right arm wraps behind your back. Look over your right shoulder. Right hand goes up. Both hands come into half, both knees lock. Inhale, give a nice deep back bend to the body. Count the position and hold your back bend. Breathe. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, take your hands up. Circle your hands. Rotate your shoulders and reverse the direction of the rotation of the shoulders and let it go. Shake it off a little bit. Widen your stand. We're going to work with our arms a little bit. Eagle arms, open up your hands into T. Let's take the right hand below, left hand on top. Bring yourself into eagle arms. Lift your elbows up. Gently take both your hands towards your right side. Breathe. Connect with your left shoulder blade. Breathe. Come back to the center. Let's take our hands all the way towards the left side. And come back to the center. Stay where you are. Now remember how we bent our knees, right? When our hands are going towards the right side, we're going to bend our left knee, right? So let's all start by bending our left knee a lot. And as you turn your body, I want you to bend your left knee a lot, which will help allow you to go a little deeper into the position. Gently come back to the center, both knees locked. Bend your right knee a lot. Take your hands all the way towards your left side. Gently come back to the center, straighten both knees. Notice your right hand is below, left hand is on the top. Release your hands, press your hands all the way to the back. Let's rotate our shoulders off a little bit. And reverse the direction of the rotation of the shoulders. Open up your hands. Gently take your left hand below, right hand on the top, interlock your hands, slowly bring your elbows up. First round, just moving the arms only, no bend of the knees. Simply take your hands all the way towards your left side. Come back to the center. Slowly take your hands all the way towards your right side. And come back to the center. Bend your right knee a lot. Take your hands all the way towards your left side. 
And come back to the center. Straighten both knees. Bend your left knee a lot. Turn your body towards your right side. Come back to the center. Release your hands. Press your hands all the way to the back. Rotate your shoulders and reverse the direction of the rotation of your shoulders. Let's take our right hand all the way across the body. Grab your left and stretch it out. Hold and stretch. Open your hands. Switch. Open your hands and release. let it go. Rotate and release. Let's all step through the top of the mat, hands to the heart center. Inhale, let's take the hands all the way up, arch of the back. Exhale, let's come into half. Bend your right knee. So now we did all this, you will be, it will be easy for you. Bend your right knee, keep your left leg straight. Take your left hand to the outside of your right. Right hand goes up. Straighten both knees, come into half. Bend your left knee, keep your right straight. Right hand goes to the outside of your left. Left hand goes up. Straighten both knees, half. Come into a full forward bend. Let it go. Take your right leg all the way to the back. Coming into high lunge. Let's all rest our right knee down to the ground. Bring yourself into TR position. Gently take your right hand below, left hand on the top. Come into eagle arms. You're going to either move your arms towards your left side by keeping your knee down, or you have the option to lift your knee off the ground. Gently work on lifting your right knee off the ground, coming into high lunge. Slowly taking your hands all the way towards your left side. Breathe. Gently come back to the center. Release your hands, open up your hands into T. Take your left hand below, wrap your right hand. Let's stretch the left shoulder blade out. And breathe. Release your hands into T. Let's get back to the flow. Place your hands on either side of your left leg. Take your left leg all the way to the back. Hold your plank. Let's all rest our knees down. Relax the toes. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, down your back. Inhale, look towards the ceiling and exhale, round your back. Come into neutral position with your neck. You can do two more rounds of cat and cow if you wish to, if plank is too much for you. Otherwise, tuck your toes, let's meet in plank position. Bend your right knee a lot, press your left heel to the back. Back to plank, both knees locked. Bend your left knee a lot. Press your right heel all the way to the back. Back to plank. Right knee bends. Plank. Left knee bends. Plank. Let's make in downward dog position and slowly start to pedal our legs off. We're going to go back to ATM salutation in a second, but we want to just release those legs off a little bit. So let's pedal those legs off. Slowly, let's come back to plank. Let's all drop our knees down. Relax the toes. Bend your elbows towards your body. Bring your chin down to the ground. Inhale, let's make our way up into full cobra. Tuck your toes. Let's make in downward dog position and slowly start to pedal those legs off. Right leg steps forward, left knee comes down.
Open up your hands. Left hand comes below, right hand comes on the top, coming to eagle arms. Gently take your hands all the way towards your right side and come back to the center. Option to release the left knee off the ground, totally optional. And gently take your arms towards your right side. And breathe. Slowly come back to the center. Release your hands. Take your right hand across. Stretch out your right shoulder blade this time. Breathe. Open up your hands into T. Step your back leg forward. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Exhale, circle your hands. Let's come into prayer arms. Right side of the sun salutation done. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Exhale, place your, press your hips back. Come into half. Bend your right knee a lot. Right hand goes out to the outside of the left leg. Left hand goes up. And left hand wraps behind the back. Breathe. Left hand goes all the way up. Come back to half forward bend. Both knees locked. Bend your left knee a lot. Left hand goes to the outside of the right. Right hand goes up and around your back. Look over your right shoulder. Come back to half, both knees locked. Exhale, half into full forward bend. Hold on to your opposite elbows. Let go of the crown of your head. Let's pulse here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, place your hands all the way down to the ground. Let's step the right leg all the way to the back. Let's step the left leg all the way to the back. Hold your plank and breathe. Stay where you are. Adding on. Remember we bent one knee at a time. Let's do the same thing. Bend your right knee. Place your right knee completely down to the ground this time. Take your right leg toes, turn it outward. And drop your left feet down to the ground. Take your left hand all the way up. Variation of side plank. And breathe. Left hand goes all the way over your head, opening up the left side of the body. Breathe. Left hand comes down. Right leg, toes come back in position. Roll onto the ball of the feet of your left. Let's meet in plank. Hold the plank. Bend your left leg a lot. Drop your left knee down to the ground. Take your left leg toes outward. Keep it tucked. Drop your right feet down to the ground. Right hand goes all the way up. Right hand goes all the way over. Opening up the right side of the body. And breathe. Right hand comes down. Roll onto the ball of the feet of your right. Bring your left leg back in position. Let's meet back in plank. Before we go to eight limb, remember today we are adding a downward dog. Lift your hips up. Let's come into downward dog and start to pedal your legs off. Back to plank. Drop your knees down. Relax your toes. Bend your elbows towards your body, reaching to the ground. Inhale, let's make our way up into Cobra. Hug the toes, let's maintain downward dog position and start to pedal those legs off. Walk your legs a little bit closer to your body so that your heels completely press. So your left heel is down to the ground while your right knee is bent. And switch. And switch. And switch. And one more. Gently step your 
right leg forward, drop your left feet, left knee completely down to the ground. Open up your hands, left hand comes below, right hand comes on the top, hold on to your arms, gently take your hands all the way towards your right side. Come back to the center, tuck your toes, release your left knee off the ground, release your hands, take your right hand across the body. Open up your hands into T. Step your back leg forward. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Read your fingertips up. Circle with your hands. Bring your hands back to the heart center. Let's step to the front of the mat. I will change it up a little bit. I probably won't repeat the same thing because we have done the shoulder stretches. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Exhale, fly your hands. Let's come into a full forward bend. Step your right leg all the way to the back. Drop your knee down. Step your left leg all the way to the back. Walk your hands back towards your body. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Just changing it because we don't want to repeat the whole thing again. Let's drop the right hand next to the body. Let's take the left hand all the way towards the right side. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, left hand comes down, right hand goes towards the left side. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Circle your hands, place your hands down. Let's meet in downward dog position and we will come into plank. Gently release, let's come into plank. And pedal your legs off. Drop your knees down, back to your head and thaw. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your back. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your back. Gently come into neutral position. Since we did the pedaling of the legs and the side plank variation, Maybe we are ready for a full side plank. So we will give it a try. Let's gently take our left leg, place it behind the right and take the right leg outward. So we are in the same position that we were earlier on. So those of us who want to just stay here, we can stay here, right? So let's all meet with our left hand all the way up. Still feeling all right here. See how it feels to lift your right leg and place it in front of your left. Still feeling okay here? Take your left hand all the way over. Breathe. Gently place your left hand down. Gently place your right leg down. Bring your left leg back in position. Relax all 10 toes and wag your tail from side to side and come back to the center. Let's tuck the toes. Extend your right leg all the way out. Take your left leg toes outward. Remember you can stop here. You can take your right hand all the way up. You can completely stop here. You don't have to go any further. Those of us who want to take the left leg in front of the right. You can stay here or you can take your right hand all the way over. Totally optional. Breathe. Right hand comes down, left leg comes down, right leg comes down. We are back in our cat and cow. Wag the tail, move your hips from side to side. Stay where you are. I'm going to go all the way to the back of the mat. We're going to give a break to our wrists now. Since we have been on the wrist, let's all walk our hands away from the body and gently come down onto your belly and bring your chin down to the ground.
Inhale, lift both your hands and legs off the ground. Hold and exhale, release. Inhale, lift both your hands and legs off the ground. And just move your arms. So keep your legs stationary. Just move your hands as if you were trying to swing with both your hands. And let go. Inhale, lift both your hands and legs off the ground. Keep your hands stationary. Just paddle with your legs only. So just move your legs and release, let it go. Inhale, lift both your hands and legs off the ground. Move your arms and legs. Both your hands and legs. And try to go as quickly as possible. And please let it go. Bring your hands next to your chest. Elbows are hugging the body. Inhale, make your way up into full cobra. Hug your toes. Let's meet in downward dog position and slowly start to pedal those legs off. Left leg steps forward. Right leg joins the left leg forward bend. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, arch of your back. Reach your fingertips up, circle your hands, hands back to the heart center. I'm going to stay a little bit to the back of the mat for you to see me better. Uh, you can come to the front of your mat. It's just because I want to adjust myself to the camera, so I'm staying to the back of the mat. Inhale, let's take the hands all the way up, arch of the back. Exhale, fly your hands, swan by yourself. Let's come into a forward bend. Step your right leg to the back. Step your left leg to the back. Drop your knees down and bring yourself completely down. I just want to make sure I'm visible. And extend your hands all the way up. Bring your chin down to the ground. Keep your feet to the ground. Toe nails are pressing to the ground. Do not lift your legs for this one. Inhale, lift your hands off the ground. Exhale, tee your hands. Inhale, palms facing up. Take your hands behind you. Exhale, bring your hands into T. Inhale, bring your hands forward. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift your hands off the ground. Exhale, take your hands into T. Inhale, palms facing up. Lift your chest up. Exhale, palms coming into T. Inhale, hands come forward. Exhale, release. Stay where you are. Take your left hand, place it behind, below your left thigh. Take your right hand, place it below your right thigh. Your palms are touching your thighs. We didn't make a fist today. Let's lift the right leg off the ground, point your toes. Take your right leg slightly higher, breathe. Lift your right leg a little further higher, breathe. Release your legs down. Inhale, left leg goes off the ground. Take your left leg slightly higher, point your toes. Take it slightly higher, point your toes. And release. Release your hands from below your thighs. Stack up your hands, bend your legs at the knee. Fiber blades, take it towards your left side. Come back to the center. Take it towards your right side. Come back to the center. Take it towards your left side. Come back to the center. 
Take it towards your right side and come back to the center. Release your legs all the way down. Bring your hands next to your chest. Bring your chin down to the ground. Inhale, make your way up into full cobra. Bump up your hips. Look over your left shoulder. Come back to the center. Bump up your hips. Look over your right shoulder. Come back to the center. Tuck your toes. Let's meet in downward dog position and slowly start to bend those legs off. Gently walk your hands back towards your body. You're going to come into a forward bend. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Arch up your back. Reach your fingertips up. Circle your hands. Hands back to the heart center and release. Let it go. Shake your legs off a little bit and shake your hands off a little bit. Once again, let's step to the front of the mat. Widen your stand. So keep your feet within the frame of your mat, within the width of your mat. All we are going to do is we're going to squat a few times and maybe add a heel movement here, which we have done many times before. Squeeze your abdominal muscles. Start to press your hips back. Bend your knees a lot. Rest your elbows on top of your knees. Stay here and breathe. And release. Bend. And release. Bend. And release. Last time. And release. If you remember in the beginning of the class, we had added a balance position. We started the class with that today. Inhale, take the hands all the way up. Release both your heels off the ground. Balance. Keep both your heels off the ground. Circle your hands, soften your knees. Gently press your hips back. Your heels are off the ground. If you can, squat. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Your heels are still off the ground. Balance, I know, right? There's a shake in the body. Heels are still off the ground. Exhale, bend your knees, chest up. Hands to the heart center. Inhale, heels off the ground. They stay off the whole time. And exhale, heels down. Release your hands all the way down. And let it go. Shake it off a little bit. Widen your stand. So now we are no longer within the frame of our mat. We are going to be a little bit away to the outer edge of the width of the mat. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, let's come into half like how we did before. Remember, in with the legs together, we had come into half many times, right? So we're going to bend our right knee and come back. Bend your left knee and come back. Same logic applies all the time, right? Bend your right knee. Take your right hand to the outside of your left. Left hand goes up. Come back to the center, both legs straight. Bend your left knee. Take your left hand to the outside of the right. Right hand goes up. And come back to the center. Straight, uh, both knees locked. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Circle your hands. And reverse the rotation of your arms. And let it go. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, press your hips back. Let's come with our fingertips down to the ground. Gently walk your hands towards your left ankle. Take your hands behind your left ankle. Bring your forehead towards your left ankle. Feel the back of the thigh on the left leg. Breathe. Gently walk your hands back to the center. Slowly take your hands behind your right ankle. Wrap your hands behind your ankle. Bring your forehead towards your right knee.
Gently walk your hands back to the center. Take your right hand, rest it on top of your right hip. Take your left hand, rest it on top of your left hip. Press your palms and gently bring yourself all the way up. Release your hands, slowly heel toe yourself and gently come back to the center and shake it off a little bit. Let's come down to the mat. We haven't done our full roll-ups in a really long time, so I wanted to use some time today to do our full roll-ups. Before that, let's massage the back a little bit. So let's all come down to the mat. Place your hands on top of your kneecaps and gently massage your back. And release. Reverse the massage. We did quite a few forward bends, so let's let's make sure we massage the back one. And reverse. Extend your legs all the way out. Flex your feet. Everything is down to the ground right now. Your heel is digging, your toes are flexed. Reach your hands over, pointing your fingers towards the ceiling. We're going to progressively come into a full sitting position. This is somewhat challenging when we used to do these classes in person at the library. I remember a lot of us faced a little bit of challenge. So do what you can, do the best you can. Slowly as you inhale, lift your head off the ground, reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. Look towards your toes and release. Very slowly as you inhale, lift your head off the ground, reach your fingertips up, point your fingers towards your toes. Your head, shoulder blades are off the ground. Head down, fingertips up. Those of you who can roll yourself fully up without lifting your heels off, you're going to try. Slowly lift your fingertips up first. Your head off the ground, point your fingers towards your toes and slowly make your way all the way up into a seated position and reach forward. Now those of us who could not come up for whatever reason, right? Take the support of your hands and make your way up into a seated position with your hands extended like this. And let's pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Roll yourself. Keep your hands in front of you just the way they are. Feel your hips press into the ground. Start to press your tailbone to the mat. Press your lower back to the back. Hold. Press your mid back to the mat. Press your shoulder blades to the mat. Press your head back to the mat. Take your hands up. Be in good control of your own body. Breathe. One more. Fingertips up. Head off the ground. Point your fingers towards your toes. Your head and shoulder blades are off the ground right now. Gently squeeze your belly. Lift and lift and bring yourself all the way out and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Start to roll yourself back. Feel your hips pressing to the ground. Press your tailbone to the ground. Press your lower back to the ground. Press your mid back to the ground. Press your shoulder blades to the ground. Press your head down. Take your fingertips up. Last time, guys, I know first round, many of you must be just observing because you don't know what to expect. Let's do this together. Now you know, we did it two times already. Try your best. Don't give up. 
Fingertips up, head off the ground. Squeeze your belly, point your fingers towards your toes. Gently lift yourself all the way up. Reach your hands forward and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Start to lean back. Feel your hips. Feel your tailbone pressing. Lower back, mid back, shoulder blades, your head and your fingertips go up. Release, bring your knees into your chest and massage. If you could not do this one, it's totally fine. Don't have to feel bad. We are work in progress, all of us. We're trying to work slowly, little by little, so it's all right. I hadn't done it in a really long time, so I wanted to see where we are today. That's why I gave it a shot. But you can practice at home, it is pretty safe. Really, you won't fall off because you're already on the back. So try to practice at home, maybe next time you will be able to do it completely, if you, didn't, if you could not do it today. Drop your feet down. Into bridge position, feet. Rest your hands next to your body. Let's start by releasing the lower back of the ground. Remember earlier we started by lifting the head off the ground, right? Now we start with the tail end. Tailbone, lower back, arch of your back, full bridge position. Now shoulder blades down, mid back, lower back and your tailbone. It is so important for us to regulate the body and to which part is releasing and which part is resting. This brings a lot of awareness in the body, right? So let's do it with full awareness. Start to release your tailbone off the ground, your lower back, your mid back and arch yourself up into full bridge. Shoulder blades down, mid back, lower back, and your tailbone. Bring your knees into your chest, move your knees from side to side. Massage the back. Take your, bring your legs into tabletop position first. Take your right leg over your left. Drop both heels down. Lift your head off the ground and hold on to your opposite ankles. And pull your legs towards your body. Simple handlebar. Rest your head down. Release, undo your legs, come back to tabletop. Take your left leg over the right, cross. Drop your heels down. Lift your head off the ground. Hold on to your ankles. Pull your legs towards your body. Head down, let go, stay here. Undo your legs, bring your legs back to tabletop. Take your legs all the way up, leg up the wall. Take your hands behind your thighs. Lift your head off the ground. Walk your legs closer towards your body. Keep your feet flexed. Bring your left leg, hover it off the ground. Wrap your hands behind your right. Both feet are off the ground. Left leg is hovering off the ground. And switch. 
and switch and switch and switch breathe eight seven six five four three two and one bring both legs up bend your knees head down move your knees from side to side massage the back let's draw circles to massage the back and reverse Bring your knees into your chest, flex your feet. Open your hands into cactus arms. Drop your feet to the right side. Pull the belly button towards you, bring your knees back to the center and gently drop your legs towards your left side. Spinal twist on the other side. Pull the belly button towards you, bring your knees back to the center. Drop your feet as wide as your mat. Take your legs all the way towards your right side. So both your knees are bent, dropping towards the right side. Lift your right ankle, place it on top of your left. Undo your leg, so slide your right leg off, point your knees towards the ceiling and now slowly take your legs towards your left side. Lift your left leg, place your ankle on top of your right. Slide your left leg off, point your knees towards the ceiling. Extend your legs, reach your hands over your head. Let's give a full body stretch. Bring your knees one more time into your chest. Let's massage the back, just to make sure. And reverse. Gently start to extend your legs. Separate your legs out, separate your hands out. Find a comfortable position to relax your body. In the final resting position. Gently close your eyes. And bring your awareness back to your breath. Relax your forehead and temple muscles. Your eyeballs and your jaw.
Try to spread your shoulder blades onto the mat. And try to relax your neck muscles. By letting go of your upper back completely. Feel your spine pressing onto the mat. Getting the support from Mother Earth. And try to find a position that can relax your lower back. Bring your awareness to the tips of your toes and your fingers and consciously let go of your toes and your fingers. Trying to find a sense of ease within the body. Whenever you feel ready, slowly bend your knees and turn your body to the right side. And gently take the support of your hands and make your way up into a seated position with your eyes closed. Bringing your hands to the heart center with the thumb touching the heart center. If you wish to make a small prayer for your loved ones and the world around you, you may do that at this time. Whenever you feel ready, slowly begin to open your eyes by first bringing the gaze towards the floor and slowly coming up to eye level. Let's take a bow together and say Namaste. Namaste everyone. I will see you all next Tuesday, 16th. Thank you.